Good afternoon, class. Uh, this is Mr. Ndawa, your lecturer in psychosocial counseling. Uh, we are still uh, dealing with um, the meaning of counseling. The meaning of what? Counseling. I think last time we ended on uh, the, don, the, the do's and the don'ts of counseling. We together, we looked at uh, the, the do's and the don'ts of counseling. But today, we are going to tackle the techniques of counseling. The techniques of counseling. Are we together? So, when we say the techniques of counseling, this is the, the method that a counselor should use before he, starts, he or she starts watching uh, counseling. Are we together? So now, the first priority before we look at uh, the, the techniques, before a counselor starts uh, uh, counseling, the first thing that he should do must take these measures to the what to the counselee. What are these measures? These measures. One is to collect the information to the person he's counselling or the person she's what counselling. Number one, you must collect this information. The motive. You look at the motive. That's number one. If you look at the what? The motive. This is the first thing that the counselor should uh, uh, collect before he starts what he, uh, counseling. Number one, you look at the motive. Number two, the experience. Then number three, the weakness. Number four, the strength. Number five, the attitude. Number six, the behavior, which is the last one. When you collect this information, when you collect this information, that's when now you start considering by applying your what? Your techniques. Are we together? So when you, you collect this information, that's when you apply these techniques that are in what? Counseling. Are we together? So before you cancel, before you cancel as a counselor, don't just start. As a counselor, you must study these stages, collect this information that I'm mentioning. One, you look at the motive, the experience, the weakness, the strength, the attitude, and the behavior before you start. Are we together? Then after you have collected this information as a counselor, you go now, you apply the techniques. These, the, these techniques are the ones that we are going to look at today. Are we together? So please, I'm repeating this. Before you start counseling as a counselor, follow this. Collect this information that I'm from me, uh, mentioning. That's when now you can start applying your techniques. What are these techniques that I'm talking about or that we're about to look at? Number one, you release the emotion tension. You release the emotion ten uh, tension. These are one number one techniques. You have to look at the emotion of the particular person you are counseling. The emotion, what are these emotions inside it? One, it is fear. It might be fear. Are we together? Fear of emotion. Fear, respect, insult, anxiety, guilty, and hostility. Hostility, sorry. Hostility. So these are the things that you looked at when you are, you are doing your techniques. Are we together? We said one, fear, two, respect, three, insult, four, anxiety, five, guilty, six, hostility. So these are the things that are there. So these are in the uh, in, in a in a row of what releasing emotion. This is number one. You have to release the emotion of the person you are doing what you are cancelling. This is one of the techniques. You looked at the emotion part. From there, when you look at this emotion there, there is what we call now the confidence. That's when you can go and gain the what the confidence and listen what carefully. And listen what carefully. When you have the confidence, then later on you listen carefully. Are we together? Now, number two, techniques. Effective communication. Effective communication. That is in, if in an effective communication. That's why they, you, you build up the what the relationship. Effective communication. That's one of the techniques. Then number number three, you qualify. You qualify, you qualify the thinking. 
Are we together? You clarify the what? The thinking. It's very important to do what? To clarify the thinking. Because when you clarify the thinking, others when they are coming for, 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 for counseling, they always have the negative thinking. So you as a counselor, make sure before you apply the, first of all, you look at the emotion side, then you communicate the effective side, and then you clarify the thinking. Because most of the people when they are coming for counseling, they always have the negative thinking. So you need to make sure that you clarify the thinking. Are we together? That's number three, techniques. Then number four, which is the, the last one, the performance of what? Cancer. The performance of cancer. Look at how you have achieved in your cancer. How, how you have applied your, 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 your techniques. Have you achieved or in your, in your cancer? Have you achieved of what you have, uh, uh, what you, have, uh, you, have you have directed or maybe how you have cancelled your, 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 your cancer? So you look at the performance. Just there, that's when you, you, you look at the, the whole angle. Have, have you solved the issue? Have you helped that particular person? Have you applied what is supposed to be applied as a cancer? You must or don't leave the point hanging or don't leave the issue hanging. If it is an ongoing process, you make an appointment. If it is just there, you have seen that zone, that particular person, then you have, you have qualified everything and the performance is good, you let that particular person go. Once he has regained his positive thinking, are we together? So you look at the last part, you look at the, the, the performance of your counseling. Are we together? So these techniques, don't forget, please. Number one, release, releasing of that emotion that we have looked at. Number two, we have looked at the effective communication. There must be the effective communication. Then, then number, now, number three one, you clarify the thinking. You clarify the thinking. Then also, the last part of techniques uh, of applying counseling is the what? The performance of what? Counseling. The performance of what? Counseling. This is the last part where you, you, you have to do. You have to, do your, your, your conclusion. If it is, uh, the counseling has not ended there, you make an appointment. If it is a, it's an ongoing counseling, you make an appointment where you, 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 you need to continue until you find the lasting solution to that particular uh, counseling you are, you, are, you are counseling. So make sure, let me just reflect on the first part, before you counsel, before you cancel, I'm, I'm repeating this because I know most of the counselors, they rush in. Before you cancel, before you apply the, the, the techniques, please make sure that you collect this information collectively. You collect this information before you cancel. You look at the motive behind the, your, 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 your counseling. You look at also the experience, the, the, the strength, the, 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 the attitude, the behavior. When you collect this information, that's when you can now apply the techniques of what that particular person you are you are you are cancelling. Please, this today today we end here on uh, techniques of cancelling. I think this has been Mr. Ndawa, your lecturer in psychosocial. Don't forget, please study. Have a good day. Thank you.